we ended up talking about, do you remember there was Boyles and Charles and Boyles was pressure and volume, not temperature, because Boyles not temperature. And then Charles Law was volume and temperature relationship. But what that, those were if you held one thing constant, correct? Yes. yes. So you had to hold, like for Boyles, you had to hold temperature constant. For Charles, you had to hold pressure constant. So how about, what if everything changes? So PV and T changes. Well, why don't we take Charlie and Boyle and put them together? So what would it look like? So uh, Boyle's was P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So how can I make this, how do I add Charles to it? No, what, what do I need to add now is temperature. Divided by T. Divided by, because that one was V over T. Yeah? So I know this is really hard to understand, but this is called the combined gas law because we combined them. Okay? Cool? Super easy? No. Okay. All right. So um, here's a sample problem. So a gas has a volume of 3.5 liters, pressure of 740 millimeters mercury. You could tell I'm a chem major and use those units and a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, what would the volume be at standard temperature and pressure? And this is what you were asking um, the other day, um, that what is this, this is a very chemistry thing. Did First of all, have you been doing gas laws yet in AP chem? Yes. yes. Okay, have you seen STP? No. You've never seen that word STP? I'm not taking it. Okay, all right, so STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. So that means you need to know when, when they say that at STP, what is considered standard? What do you think it would be? What One, would you? What, zero. So, okay, so zero <laughs> Celsius, which is? 276. No, 273.15, if you think I don't actually okay. know that, but I do. I was pretty close. Okay. That's okay. knowledge. So All right. That it no problem. <laughs> All right. You just don't want the wrong use the wrong number. Standard temperature is freezing. And what about standard pressure? What do you think in atmospheres? One. 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 All right. And do you know what it is in Seven millimeters? <laughs> Seven sixty. Hydrogen. In millimeters. No like mercury. So. Oh, it's Why do we care the, so much about millimeters? Because it's, it's what a barometer generally is made out of is merc the mercury column is 700 or 70, 76. Dumbass. It's the best barometer we got. Is Why a mercury can it be barometer. better? If we use a mercury barometer, what do you want to mercury? use? Do you want to use an aneroid barometer? So an aneroid barometer is a sealed like can. And when the exterior pressure is more, it squeezes it and deforms it and the needle will bend based on the deformation of the can. What do digital thermometers do? Okay, barometer. no, we're talking about, about barometers. barometers. I fully thought it was thermometer. I was like, and did, what? Does a digital barometer work? Probably. Is I don't a know. A I think it's still a little chamber that changes shape. So it's not really I don't good. know if that's as good as, as a, merc a mercury. A so mercury barometer could be dial? really, really accurate. Let's move on. What about okay. like a pressure dial? Oh, move on. The dial has to be, if there's a dial, it, it, it's it's like on something. I have one and it's it crap, cool. but okay. All right, Great. so let's just solve this real quick. So what do we do? PV over T, so find all the initial stuff, right? 740, can I do this? Can I plug in 740? And do I need to change this to meters cubed and do I need to change this into atmospheres? Or Pascal's. You can do, nope. You can if you're dividing it, you're fine. I'm all good. Okay. And then, so what about down here? Thirty. What? I'm. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, no. You never. Do you remember I showed you that graph, and that graph went way off scale because the relationship only works with Calvin. The okay. the relationship. If you double your Celsius temperature, you will not double volume. Oh, you're gonna do? Because it's dependent on all the way at zero. So we have to make it into Kelvin. You're gonna 1.26799 it. You double it. 
you're going to take 30 and add 273. I was just. What? That's a conversion? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm because. I'm stupid. Every, it, the increments are the same between Celsius and Calvin. I didn't know that. However, it's where, zero, where real zero is. When volume is zero, we describe that as being at negative 273, not zero Celsius, but negative 273 Celsius. So our scale is just offset. Okay. okay? But because it's a All right. So. It's, we cannot just look at 30 because 30 is not what the real temperature is. This is the real temperature from the coldest it could be. What, are, what is sig figs for okay. again? The place they both have. So they have, and so you add not, to, well, let's pretend it's to here. That's what let's I do pretend I do that. What's multiplying? The, the Stop, the it's the it least oh, well, number of that. digits. Wow. Not the place. This is the place they both have. We're assuming the oh. ones place. Okay. Where you can keep to the ones place when, when you multiply, you keep the total number of digits. Whereas the 30 just has one sig fig if you're multiplying. One sig fig. No, it should have had one sig fig just as written as it is, but it was off. One sig fig and it's in the tens place, okay. so you should only keep. All right, let's just keep going here. Um, the other side, 760. What are we looking for? Volume and... Uh, at standard temperature, which is 273. Okay, so now it's just math, right? Easy. Plug, put, you know, do this, do this, times by this, divide by this. You could do it one time. Even, the, even I would do this in one step in your calculator. And I'm going to get 3.08 liters. Now, why do I have liters? Because liters in is liters out. Okay? So I wouldn't bother to change. So the pressure, only thing you have to change so is that. So pressure and volume can be anything you want in. Yes, because any pressure change is, is that. But we find with volume that when we did that graph, that volume didn't change very much. Even though you doubled volume or doubled the temperature in Celsius, you went from right, 10 so to 20. To the vo so, right, it went to zero way off scale. So. It isn't, uh, it is only proportional to Kelvin. Got it. So that's what you have to do. So, two seven, um, so three zero point, Kelvin three point is one negative 273 Celsius. Yeah. Point one five. Yes, point 0.15. Okay, now, whenever you do the math, use your head. Is, does this make sense? What happened to my volume? My volume went down. Is that reasonable or is it yes. backward? Did yes. we do that's something reasonable. wrong? Why is it reasonable? What happened to our pressure? Our pressure went up, we squeezed it smaller, and our temperature went down, the molecules got slower, and we're less able to keep the volume out. Yeah? They got lazy. Where are the Valentine's decorations? In a box, sitting there. I tried to make these lights turn red and, you know. So they do turn red. They do, but I lost the remote, so I have to go through the 800 renditions by hand. Oh, and every time I think it's red, they blink, they're they red for a moment, and then they go into a different mode. Oh, great. So, well, there I'll, we go. I'll help you put the decorations on. Okay, sure. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this craziness. Mr. Avogadro, anyone else? Yes! Avogadro? So, Mr. Avogadro. Avocado? Which, what? Uh -huh. I forget his first name. Is it Amadeus or something? Amadeus. Okay, don't, don't worry yeah, about it. All right, Mr. <laughs> Avogadro always shows up really early in a chem book. However, he is known for his study of gases. That's how he ended up with Avogadro's number. Was He, he studied gases and reaction of gases and discovered that there always were these whole number ratios of volumes when things reacted. So he didn't know anything about like solids and how many atoms in a mole and all that stuff. It came because of this. So let me just say, here we go. We're not going too crazy into this because we're not in chem class, but a mole is the amount of atoms or molecules, we mentioned this before, in 12 grams of carbon. Wait. So if, never mind. Okay. All right, or the number of particles in the atomic mass of any element. 
So if you take the periodic table and you grab like copper and it's 63.54 and you have 63.54 grams, you will have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. If it is a compound, if you have water and you have 18.02 grams of water, all right, which is 18.02 is two H's at 1.01 .01 and a 16.00 and you have two of those and you had 18 grams of water, how many molecules, I changed the word, of molecules would you have? You would have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Atoms would be three times as many because you have three atoms per molecule, okay? All right, so it's just how many hunks or particles. Okay, here is what we care about though. Here's what Avogadro's hypothesis is. Equal volumes of all gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. This is hugely radical and weird. It should be in your mind. If it isn't, I don't know if you're really thinking like what, if you had these balloons, okay? And you had the same volume, I tried to make them the same size, but kind of fail, kind of fail. But if you had three same size balloons and one was with, filled with H2 and one with CO2 and what one. Is H2? Just hydrogen. hydrogen. Why is it two? Wait, it's, it's another thing because it's, it's not happy Diam alone. It's diatomic. I'm going to get to that. Okay. Anyways, so they have these formulas. They have the same pressure and at the same pressure and temperature and volume. They have the same number of particles or molecules, not the same number of atoms because this has more because there's three Wait, parts and this is two parts. How about I make this helium instead? Huh? Same volume means same number of particles. And you go, but why if they have different weights? These, I didn't say their densities, means their densities are different. Their densities are different. This is the least dense. This would be the most dense, all right? They have the same size. This has more mass, same number of particles in here. And you go, but wait. Doesn't this take up more room? No, because remember when we, we first talked about gases? What makes the space in a gas? Is it the size of the particle? No. No, these particles are all tiny. Now, so they're two, two, three tiny little things. Here. That doesn't matter. That has nothing to do, or this one's got two stuck together and this is just one. That's not what makes it size. Its size is the bouncing around and the pushing. So it's almost like a dance floor of people going crazy and the crowd moves because of how crazy people are. That's what's creating this, all right? It isn't how big and so fat there's, each so there's one of like these a are. Back. So in between, there's no matter? Correct. It's probably like dark matter or something. Stop, there's nothing between them. <laughs> Not in my world. Physics, yes, quiet, but exactly. <laughs> Stop. We have enough problems. Okay, so very interesting. This is important. So we have something called molar volume. And look, our friend STP comes back again. Stop. Okay. Stop. It's not an STD. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So 22.4. So there's, and I, Sometimes classrooms will have a cardboard box this size. About a cardboard box this size, 22.4 liters, has contains one mole of a gas. Any gas. Any gas. And we got, and then you would know if you had 22.4 liters of hydrogen, you know how much it would weigh. It'd weigh 2.02 grams. And this one, it would weigh uh, 32 plus 44 grams. And this one would weigh two, 4.002. <laughs> I kind of have these all memorized still. Yeah. Yes. So, balloons with helium flow. Because is of their density. Because the buoyant force is greater than its weight. Right. Or helium is less dense than air. Not according to the last chapter. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay, so the question is sinks. They have the same amount of. Like, is that only, if they have the, if helium and CO2, let's say, I don't know if this is true, let's say CO2 doesn't flow, a CO2 balloon won't It doesn't flow. flow. Okay, so if helium and CO2, they have the same amount of particles, why does the helium flow and CO2 doesn't? Because, the helium because this has more less. mass, because every one of those particles has, you know, 10 times more mass. This is 44 oh. grams per mole, 
and this is 4.002 grams per mole. Okay. That's okay. why. So the okay. weight is more, buoyant force is the same. But it's the weight. But the weight. weight's more. Buoyant force is the same because the volume of the balloon is the same. Because the volume of the balloon is the same. Interesting. This is awful? Yes. Can you get, me, can you get okay. one of the boxes? Can what? I want to see the box. The mole. Oh, the mole box? I okay. Someone needs to build one for me. What's, how much room is a mole of sugar? White sugar. No, well, what kind of table sugar? That's C12H22O. Does it only apply to gases? No. This, this mole rule. Okay. A mole is just a number. Oh, 10. Anyways. A mole of rule. You just need the density. Okay. It's the number of particles in a. Okay. All right. Now. Okay, a little chemistry again. Focus. So, because the volume of gas is linked to moles, okay, our equations that we write, a balanced equation that you would write, a, a balanced equation is a recipe. It's a chemistry recipe. That is all it is. If you have a balanced equation, which always works for moles or atoms, then it will also work for volumes. Again, for some people that don't have any experience with this, first of all, let me balance this equation. And again, we're not gonna get it too much, but do you see that this math, if you had little Legos or building blocks or like model sets, do you see that this doesn't work out? Hydrogen it. exists as H2. Oxygen always exists as diatomic as O2. We'll get into that. But we know water's H2O. Do you see how you can't take one? Do you see how that part's no left over? I love this. Instead of O, no, no, O. Okay. Two so, H2O and two H2. So the only way to make this work is if you have two oxygens, you can make two water molecules potentially, right? With those two. So, but. That might be Annie. That might be Annie. So that's just a Okay. 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 I'm okay. All right. So if I make, if I want to make two water, just wait for me to finish. If I want to make two water molecules, do you see that I would need how many? How many H's? Four. So it means if I, if hydrogen's only, it's kind of like some batteries. If you need like, so hydrogen exists in packets of two. Oxygens exist in packets of two. You can't open up the package and say I only no, need so one and like in the H2O store. Plus o. Say what? I can't just have H2O plus an O over here. O's always... don't, you can't buy them by themselves. They They'll come in packages somewhere. of two. They'll find somewhere to be with. You, you can't, so instead we know that it can work this way. So if we had two of these, so if I had, look at this, yeah, it. look at, if I had those, right? And I have an O2, which, yeah, then I can make, right, one of those. Do you see that works out? This is all that matters. Can you see that this works out? You didn't color in the other ball, so no, I did not see it. I know. I was going to use two colors, too. Well, okay. you didn't. Is it right. supposed to be, like, all black, or is that, like, a secret symbol? No, it's all black. She's shading it's it just, I okay. don't have time. Okay, so since that works, do you see this recipe? I can say two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen, guys. Zach, shh. Focus up. Up. We'll make two molecules of water. But why we care? Why are we talking about this? Because we care about volumes. I can change this now and say two moles. No, I, we can do moles, but I. So two liters. Liters. Two liters of H two. And one liter of O2 makes two liters of water. You go, what Should water, water vapor? Can we do that? You can explode what you do. And this is a very common thing. You can take hydrogen and oxygen and you could put them together um, and explode two with one and it would make two, two liters and one liter would only make two What's liters of steam. Why is it exploding? That is not precipitation. Why is it exploding? It's Question a mark. gas. 
What's it this going? is a gas. So oh, you're not making, you're making steam, you're not making liquid water. You could make it then condense, but yeah, then it would, but then it wouldn't have that volume, would it? Yeah, I'm going to put when they react, there's extra energy. In fact, how much volume would it have? I think it could last. The same. You should know. Same. Same. Well, you could, you take this, divide this by 22.4 and find out how many moles and then it's, since its density question. is one, you could know how many grams. Plus, yeah. What is it called when you do the, when you put it, when you make water by putting it together? What's that called? There's a name for that. Because that's how we solve. It's a composition reaction. No, wait, there's a reaction. No, um, you mean electrolysis? You yeah. Could you make it go? Electrolysis is the opposite. Yeah. Electrolysis is this way. That's why I didn't say it. But, could okay. Could you make it go straight to water in any way, ever? Um, or does it have to go through a steam phase? Does liquid I, I'm H2 trying to exist? Think. I, I think it, it, because this is a gas, I don't think, I think it's first a gas. Okay. All right. Ooh, we're, we're, we didn't answer this. Okay. All right, guys. So next, what if I wanted to make four liters of water vapor instead? What if I want this? To, so. Can you guys stop, please? Zach, what if I want to make four of these? It's a recipe. It's like baking. So what do you think? Double. Two. Double. Two. Double it. Okay. Double it. So you would need, if right, I just double the recipe. So I would need four of those and yeah. two. two of those. All right. Exactly. So how many liters of hydrogen? So four and two. What if I started with three? Let's change the numbers. What if I started with three liters of oxygen? You need How six. much H would six. you need? Six. Right. Six. Yep. And it right. make six. And we make six. Cool. Great. Awesome. Are we done? Don't we like backside? Okay. So we want now to marry one more thing together. So now we know a combined gas law, PVT, PVT, but we want to build moles into here. So. To do that, we're going to have what's called the ideal gas law. To have the ideal gas law, though, are there are these tenets, and we have to. T what What does it mean to be an ideal gas? This is chemistry version of us always ignoring friction in physics. You know, we ignore friction because it's a lot less complicated. Okay, right? Yes. In in chemistry, in gas laws. We pretend there are no intermolecular forces and problems with gases. Okay? So. We also pretend we have mass when of the molecules Yeah. So there are a large number of molecules moving randomly, so with the assumption that you wouldn't just have a container with one atom in it. All right? Molecules are far apart compared to their size, which we know is true for most gases, but it, guess when it's not true? What would you do? How can you make this not true? Uh, compress it. Cool if you down. overly compress it, you're not going to be an ideal gas anymore. Okay? Molecules obey the laws of mechanics and have low attractive forces between collisions. So it means when they bounce, they're going to bounce like, remember what we called that? Right? Low attract. That's called an elastic collision. Remember we did that last year? Oh my Pure God. bounce. A pure bounce with no loss in kinetic energy, which, is not which it's pretty true. Now, how do we know that's true? If you have a gas and you let, which they're constantly bouncing, what would happen if every time they collided, cool they lost some energy? They would, right, their and temperature like would go down. Do and what would happen? Would, Does their temperature go down? Their pressure. The would, pressure would go down, the volume like would go down, down, and eventually they would just not be exactly. a gas. So we know that pretty much it's okay, right? Now you could say they're possibly getting warmth from the outside the to keep them going. Like molecules combine. If that, they're far apart from the They need to be. Not no, they have to be attractive. On, it depends on what it is. Some of them want yeah. to give away. Oh, they're attractive. Yeah, it, it has to do. Some that's our. We are too. not doing so like other they chemical reactions. Like, if, if they that's want to not, give but it isn't just being close. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, so we just, collisions between the molecules and the container wall, again, are elastic. 
then if all these things, then we can say our favorite formula, Pervner. Okay, so however you want to call this. All right, so, okay, PV equals NRT. Look what we've done now. We've taken our equation and related it now in a different way. And so let's, let's label what these things are. Hold on, I gotta make sure I use my things right. So um, this is gonna, you can do this in different ways. I am used to doing pressure in atmospheres, but I have two constants. Oh God, did I write? Okay, yes I did, good. Um, I like to work with pressure in atmospheres, but you can do Pascal's and I'll give you a different constant in a second. Volume, I'm used to doing in liters because it's a chem thing, all right? Temperature, we know always, 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 any kind of gas case, we have to use Kelvin. And you go, what are this N and R business? Can you figure out what N stands for? Number. Number, number of? Atoms. Moles. Moles, okay? Is always given the letter N in, in, in chem land especially. Then R, guess what R has to be? It's N before. Electrical resistance. Oh, <laughs> that's electrical resistance. When did we have N before? Um, the three electrons. Oh, the maybe with speed, with drift velocity we had an N. Yeah. Yeah. No, number of electrons. number of valence electrons. Yes, you right. Oh, oopsie. Okay. All right. So R is our gas constant. And our gas constant, if you work in the units I just gave you, um, it is 0 0.0821, all right? Um, oh, if you want to know, liters. That's kind of a nice one. Um, yeah. Liters is 1,000 centimeters cubed, and if you want it um, in meters cubed, it's, right, there are 1,000 liters in one meter. I like to write that one. 1,000 liters equals one meter cubed, okay? Nice. Now, if you want to use, if you don't like this, if you don't like this thing, then if you want to use all SI units, so that means Pascal's, um, what, what am I missing? Um, and uh, this, then our R, is this old? I think this is yeah, old. It's, yeah. not, it's I'm more or less the same, but it's old. Like, okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, we just another um, I, I'm noticing that too, okay. Um, then our constant is 8. See, I always forget this one. 314. You can also have a constant if you like to use millimeters mercury and whatever else. But um, these are the two. It's it's kind of personal where do these trust. Come from? So someone. Oh, I have a problem where actually on the worksheet where you can discover R. Okay. You me if you measure a gas and you know the, if you know how many moles and you know the pressure and volume and temperature of that sample, and you know how many moles you started with. Let's say you take um, you know, 18 grams of uh, water and you turn it into steam, and then you found out, the te you knew the temperature of the steam, and you could measure the volume that you made, and all that stuff, then you could discover what R is. So none of this is really dependent on like what type of gas is. No! It doesn't. That's that's Avogadro. That is the what Avogadro world. really should be famous stuff. for. The crazy shit. It doesn't matter what gas you have. It all does the same. Yeah, because the space between it is doesn't matter. Oh, you're right. This is totally yeah. It's the right. wrong. No, it's, it's well but it's now we're in trouble. Is, is, is does yours have uh, uh, Ke uh, equals one half mv? Yeah. Yeah. And this doesn't, because this is the old one. Did you have the new one? <sighs> this was the COVID days when I had a different computer and some things didn't transfer over. Hi, Julia. Hey, Julia, how are you doing? I hope dance is going well. One second. Um, I tried to text you, but it didn't deliver, so I assume your phone is off or dead. It was just a picture of Noah looking really dumb. What? Bye. It was when you were asking questions. Yeah, I was thinking of selfie holes when you were asking a question. <laughs> Let's see. Is this the same one? Okay. Give me a second here. <laughs> Ideal gas law. What is the... Uh, see, my key is right. Is, do you know what good luck travel? So we don't get yes. What, is, what does she say at the end? Or is she close to the end? So we don't get the other <laughs> But like... Oh, there we go. That'll help. Uh, I don't think 
she'd recognize the Oh! That's a good point. That's too late. That's too late. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because I need to do this problem now. Okay, I'm, I'm with you here. Okay, so let's try this problem. Um, I have eight liters of oxygen gas. It's got a pressure of this many millimeters mercury, room temperature 21. How many moles do I got? So PV equals NRT. Let's try to plug things in. I'm going to plug in eight liters. That's all cool. This pressure, annoying. What do I have to do? Divide by, by 760. Okay, and if I do that, I'm going to tell you I get four. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, so I have four atmospheres. I don't know N. My R is 0.0821 because I choose my units to do make it that number. My only one I have truly memorized. And then um, my temperature. Plus 273. Can you do it in your head? Yes. 294. Okay. Cool. 294? 21 plus 273 is 294. Oh, sorry. That's okay. So now we're, we're going to solve for N. No, we don't have that many sig figs. Great. So I got 1.3 moles. Okay? That's, That's what I'm going to get. And the abbreviation for mole, M O L E, is M O L. <laughs> Save a letter. How okay. About what if you want to do for, oh, that's, huh? that's you're, really yeah, you're right. Okay. Now, what's the next question? Here's How where. How many moles is a lot of moles? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> a mole is a, so 18, 18 milliliters of water is one mole, right? A 63, oh, like a 63 gram block of copper It's not is nothing. One mole. Atoms are just really fucking small. A 63 yeah. gram of moles. Yeah. If you have a gram. mole of moles. I already told is them it that fact. The, the sun? Wait, how many the moles? moles, moles? Yeah, the, oh, yeah. 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 There's all like kinds of stuff you could figure out. Okay. Yeah, There's a problem to do this next yeah, problem yeah, for some of you with no background. Pay attention. How do I do this now? I have 1.3 moles, but I want to find out grams. The only way to do that is I need to multiply it by grams per mole. Grams per mole are the units for atomic mass. So that's awesome. So on the periodic table, all our friendly numbers on the periodic table, the decimally numbers over there, that is how many grams per mole. So I need someone to look at the periodic table for oxygen. 13.6181. What? what? 16. 16. 16. Oh, 15.99999. I don't know what she's saying, but yeah. 15.99999. What's the bottom number on yes. this? It's literally. I don't know. I can't see what it is. It's the ionization okay. energy. Okay, well, I'll just give you the ionization energy. All right, guys. Energy. So oxygen is based at 16.0, all right? Or 16.00, actually to four sig figs even. I'm not going to write down 16 there. I'm going to write down 32.00. And you go, what are you talking about? Because I'm going to write, okay, you either, you can hate me or not. You ready? I'm going to write down. You ready? Hold on, now I forgot the saying. Wait. Because I don't use it. I use high on fickle breath, but no one uses that. So, uh, What's the ice cold beer saying? I wrote it down so yesterday. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. I know. Look up. I'm going to look. Watch Not this. Watch this. You ready for this? This could get risky. It is. <laughs> Dia, <laughs> diatomic mnemonic. Oh, look at this. Here. Diatomic mnemonic. Diatomic Have no fear of ice cold beer. Okay. And you go, what no, is happening no. now? Uh-uh, not going to be remembered. Oh, see, there's the one. I actually wrote it down on my, I redid my notes. Okay, so yeah, I don't, don't even be, drink. Don't I'm not scared. promoting drinking. But yeah. have nice. no fear of Fluoride. ice cold Bore, boron. beer. Okay. Wait, hydrogen? Hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen fluorine, 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 sorry. Iodine, 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 iodine chlorine, chlorine, bromine. Wait, where are the little two? Did I get them all? Wait, what am I missing? Oxygen. Oh, that was off. What? It's off. Oxygen is off. 
question probably obvious. Oh, yes, it is. Why is there so, a two so, on it? It's on, on the book. Look, just, I don't know. I didn't make up. I use the noble gas. Look, it's these, this, and this, and eight. So they're not together. Okay. They're not noble gases. Noble gases are still right. Yeah. Noble gases don't bond because they don't like each other. They don't they're need noble. Anyone. So they would never make a count. <laughs> they won't so, do you see that? I'd okay. say they're emotionally unavailable. <laughs> That's, they're bachelors. I call them bachelors. Oh I'm not, we're not talking about all their stuff. Okay, uh, there's another one. Wait, I wrote it down yesterday. So you know. Then why didn't you write CL2? Because she's was not thinking. Sorry, I was busy. Okay. Sorry, I was going wacko. All right, so on the notes where I have the thing, there was another one I found. If you don't want to do beer, it's uh, it's Brickelhoff. So people like Brickel. I can't do it. See, oh, it's an I, Brick, Brickel. You forgot the two on VR. She wrote an I R and she thought it was a two. That's what happened, okay? Okay. Did I get them all? I'm still yes. missing one. Oh, where's the? Where's oh, the is it Brinklehoff? It's Brinklehoff. See? This is a two. Brinklehoff. It doesn't count as a mnemonic if you have to make up a gibberish word. I understand that, but there is. That's why you have to do. I ha have no fear of ice cold beer. Is, 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 uh, and not boron and ice is it bromine or not? That's what I was what? confused at. It, it's, it's not boron and nitrogen. It's I didn't bromine. say boron. I, I said boron. I said yes. Yes. Uh, is it? I just pointed them out on the periodic table. Boy, we're making this long. Wait, what is BR? Uh, okay. Bron is it bro bro bromine? Bromine or bromine? Bro 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 it it depends on if you're English. Bromine. So if you're from England, it would be bromine. So it's it would I so. Or right. bromine. Gotcha. It's either or no, they say iodine. See, well, we say so iodine. We, we got to see. It's for sure. Nice. Oh, yeah. Right. We can also write, <laughs> guys, we can write this formula, guys, in different form where. We can have, I don't really like this, the number of molecules instead, and then we have a Boltzmann constant, which it, it's, to me, it makes no sense. The Bolt is R divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Wait, oh, I, that's like the, the moles is baked into the Boltzmann constant? So, yes. I, I I don't. That's, that's dumb. dumb. The only thing I don't like it either, but it's a very physics way to look at it, because we start to put together the relationship between the ideal gas law and kinetic energy. So with this KT thing, you can link this. So this is the last thing. So we're back to where we started about temperature, guys. Is that kinetic energy? We know it's one half mv squared. It also can be equal to now 3 halves kT. And the deal is this, and it makes sense, that if three halves. It, the, it's something that, it's some mathematical whatever that happens. Calculus. Oh, oh it's math? It probably. No. It's actually calculus. Yeah. Look. So kinetic energy, we, we know. Oh, you integrate the yeah. three? Guys, Two doesn't three. this tell you motion? And now, we guess know. what we linked it to? This is our formula that links temperature to the speed of the molecules, okay? And this is average. So average translational kinetic energy molecules in ideal gas is directly proportional to the temperature. And this now allows us to formally say that a thermometer is a molecular speedometer. That is the key. Um, so wait, what do I want here? Okay. So back to our picture with the kinetic molecular theory, KMT, says that if you, if you make these things, again, speed up, right, if you increase their velocity, right, then you increase the uh, bounces. And if you increase the bounces, you increase the pressure. 
right? And you know, it, it all links together. So yeah. Is the mass in that formula the mass of each individual molecule or the mass of Where the at? entirety of the gas? Oh, this, Full, I see what you're, I think it depends on what your problem is. So it could be an individual. But it also can be But you know what, it can be the whole, right. Right. It, are you trying to find the kinetic energy of the whole sample or of one molecule? Then you plug in what you need. Oh, weird. But it's an average. And this is um, this distribution curve that's really a big deal in, in like chemistry and in physics and gas laws and stuff. And this, this is the, di not every atom. If you have a temperature, you go, oh, I can link it to a speed. You can link it to the average speed. So that's right here. So if we're at, you know, some temperature at 300 K, okay, this is what is, what has happened. So, so the kinetic energy is way less. So this is some speed. So this is so calculated. I know, but as average. you increase in average temperature, motion. look at the averages go up, but the curve gets spread. This Jones so there's less in that that actually at that temperature. Jones, explain to me how an average velocity works. Oh. We've always been doing average velocity. You know, no, I don't no, actually. No, we have an like average because it's a sampling of all of these of no, there. No. It's this. No. So that's what we're saying. Oh, 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 so there's a spread like from almost zero to normal high. Normal distribution. Which one's normal? There is no. no, no what no. do you call normal? It's the for different temperatures. No, but normal as than a normal. None of them are normal. As None temperature normal. goes up, the average speed goes up, but the distribution gets wider. Something so it's variable. less likely that a and a particular atom would have that average That's speed. Stupid. Right? There's some interesting possibilities so, here. This is all very you know what this gets into? Escape velocity of liquids to turn into a gas. You know what you could do? Because the higher or escape velocity into the into the atmosphere, if you have a gas and you're Light gases end up escaping because they have a higher velocity and can escape our atmosphere and our gravity. So, but not all of them. So only the ones that are in that, whatever, maybe the higher end of this. Yes. A thermometer measures kinetic energy of atoms or velocity? It's proportional to the average kinetic energy. And it's proportional to the temperature. Yes. The higher the temperature, the greater the kinetic energy of that sample now, right? But if you had a different material at the same temperature, then if the substance had more mass, right? Then, right, it would, right, because, yes. Because the kinetic energy has to stay constant. Yes. You have a bigger Yeah, we'll get more, slower. when we do thermodynamics, we're gonna just like hammer this stuff. But right now, this is enough. And it's the areas of the curve too. Yeah, okay. Wonderful. All right, so you got a worksheet.